Hey guys, it's Brad with the EdTech team at JCISD in Jackson, Michigan. This quick video is going to get you set up with Skype on the iPad so that you and the kids in your classroom can make some connections globally, do a mystery Skype, or maybe connect with an expert. The iPad is a perfect way to have small group Skypes in your classroom. Take a look. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Skype for iPad installed on the device. So head over to the App Store, do a quick search, and it should pop right up. Skype for iPad is free, so go ahead and install that. And when it's finished installing, you're going to open the app for the first time. Since you haven't registered yet, you're going to click I'm new to Skype and agree with the terms of service, and then you're going to go ahead and create your basic account. So go ahead and put in your account information, username, password, full name, and think about how you want to display your username. This would be what you share with other teachers in other classrooms. So this might be something that represents what you teach or who you are. After you've got that information filled out, you might want to uncheck that they're going to send you notifications by email and go ahead and create your account. Now that you're signed in, you need to add people to your contact list in Skype so that you can call them. There's a few different ways to do that, but one easy way is if you know the email address that they registered with. You can search by email address and see if it brings up the right person. Once you've found the person that you want to add, you're going to bring up their profile, add them to your contact list, and it's going to send them an email message and a message on Skype saying that you've requested to add them to your contacts. Another way to add people is if you know their username in Skype. So if the person you're connecting with gives you the username to search, go ahead and search that, bring up their profile, and add them to your contacts. And now for the fun part, the actual call. Tap the person who you want to call. Now they have to be online at the same time as you. And then tap video call. If you wanted to just do audio, you could call them on the phone. Give permission to the microphone and then go ahead and you're going to wait for them to answer just like they would a regular phone call. Once you're connected, you should be able to see them and they should be able to see you. You'll get a little preview of what it looks like from their end, which is from your um, camera on your device. Now you're going to want to set the iPad up probably in a place ahead of time so that it's the right angle and you can get the view that you want to get. And then you can go ahead and have your conversation. You can pass the iPad around if you wanted to have multiple students have conversations, or you could have it set up and have students rotate to the location. Now when you're ready to end the call, you can tap the screen once, and it'll bring up the menu for you to press the red button. You may also notice that there's the chat option in case you needed to send a text message. This is really helpful if you're trying to get things arranged in the classroom. Now wasn't that fun and easy? So keep reaching out, find other people that you can learn from, connect with them on Skype. Better yet, knock down those four walls of your classroom and bring Skype in as a tool to use with your students. To learn more about our team, visit edtech.jcisd.org and check out 21 Things for iPads for lots more learning activities for teachers. Have a great day.